Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from VitalCoaching.com. We are talking about Vital Shadows, which is part of the Vaster Vital Tantra system. Look at this book that I wrote. Master your jealousy before it destroys your relationship. What's jealousy? Jealousy is a shadow. You see, the idea is to be able to, to master your jealousy. It's not about suppressing it. It's not about contracting it. It's not about... Um, using it in negative ways. I use precisely the term master your jealousy because those shadows that we have inside of us have been created by nature. It means that originally they had a purpose. I'm not going to dive into the whole story about uh, the jealousy uh, aspect, but so that you understand, when you have a shadow inside of you, it is an opportunity to grow, to expand. The reason why we use the word mastery it's because we are not, not using the term suppression. We are not to, talking about annihilation. We are talking about being comfortable with certain states of mind, being comfortable with energies that usually we try to either suppress, ignore, or deny. Okay? It's like being at sea and suddenly you have a storm passing by. What are you going to do? Are you going to run away? Are you going to stay there? Are you going to face the waves and play with them? Are you going to enjoy it? Is this going to give you extra energy? And it's the same. You are in a relationship, you have a fight or you have a tension with your partner. What do you do? You divorce, you run away, you ignore, you uh, dissociate. Or do you face the thing, you say, wow, it looks like you are really angry right now. I can see that. And I wonder what that is. Tell me more. What's going on? So. You see what I just did is like inviting your partner to actually share, to expose, to bring it to the surface so that what has been in the shadow is exposed, it comes out. Then he might say, well, you know, like three months ago, you told me you would be doing this. You would be taking steps in that direction and you're not doing it. And it makes me angry. Okay. It's a very simple answer. So you bring it to the surface and then because it's exposed, it allows you to connect deeper. Because otherwise there is a division. Your partner might be feeling something, and if your partner doesn't have the space to share this feeling, there is a feeling there, there is a whole aspect of his being that you are not in touch with, and you are in another reality, and so the two of you cannot communicate. Or you communicate only on a superficial level. Hey, how are you? I'm feeling great. When deep inside you feel like, I'm really angry. So if you don't voice that anger and you don't bring it to the surface and there is no safe space to express it, then it stays stacked in your system, it creates sickness, it accumulates, it creates resentment, and after a while you just go like, I'm out of here, I want to divorce, I want to step, step out of this relationship because it's no longer fulfilling me. So the reason why it's not fulfilling me, you might be because the shadows haven't been exposed. You didn't work on them. This is why people go to therapy, so that they can share a little bit what's happening in that, in that space and uh, expose things, talk about things that they would not usually talk about. So the idea of mastery is really that you look at the totality of your life, not just relationships. You look at your body, you look at your sex life, you look at relationships, social life, you look at uh, the way you eat, you look at the way you're making money, you look at the way your mind patterns function, and then you start one by one identifying the shadows that are inside of you and see what you can do to improve, to streamline, to optimize, to bring more joy, more fun, and more energy into these areas that you don't usually touch. Okay? And uh, it's, it's an essential aspect of life. Just suppressing, just denying and pretending that, that sh shadows are not there, very often it's not good enough because they end up coming to the surface and then suddenly after three years of marriage you say, I'm not happy, I'm out of here. And so why go that way when in fact, if you keep on evolving, you keep checking your shadows, eventually you become a shadow master. You enter into this space where any challenge that comes your way, you go like, yeah, I know how to handle this. We had a similar fight last year and we won that challenge. It means that we were able to navigate to, to be able to play with these energies. So 
Right now, I'm talking about it in general ways, right? But we can be very, very specific because you can identify the shadows very, very precisely. They would be expressed in very specific emotions that come throughout the day or throughout the year or in certain situations. You know, you might feel social anxiety in social situations. What are you going to do about it? Are you going to just pretend it's not there, start avoiding being in social situations? Are you going to be like, oh, I feel uncomfortable because I don't feel seen? I feel uncomfortable because I feel judged. Why am I feeling judged? See, you start analyzing, checking it out, and eventually you go like, what's the solution? Power pose, that's it. You arrive in social, social situation and you go like, I'm confident. Judgment is not touching me. That's it, you just developed a new tactic that solves the whole thing. You practice that, power posing, you, you go into your alpha, alpha body, and then suddenly the, the, the challenge that you had around social situations is no longer there. So that's just one example. There is lots more to say about that. I'll be back soon.